Hello friends, welcome to TechQuest channel. This is for the medical technologist by your tech. In this video, we will discuss about anemia. I have listed around 40 anemia, different conditions and this is only a list of anemias. You can make elaborated, detailed anemia informations for each one of them later. Nutritional deficiency anemia. Nutritional deficiency anemia is a common issue that can happen if the body does not observe enough of certain nutrients that are essential for erythropoiesis. It can result from an imbalanced diet or certain health conditions or treatments. Iron deficiency anemia is the common type and low level of folate and vitamin B12 also causes the condition and a low vitamin C intake can contribute to it. Megaloblastic anemia. Megaloblastic anemia results from inhibition of DNA synthesis during RBC production. When DNA synthesis is impaired, the cell cycle cannot progress from the G2 growth stage to the mitosis stage. This leads to the cell growth without cell division presence as macrocytes. Megaloblastic anemia causes more often by vitamin B12 deficiency, folate deficiency, some chemotherapeutic or antimicrobial agents. Iron deficiency anemia. Iron source is an important component for production of erythrocytes by bone marrow. Deficiency of iron causes decrease and microcytic hypochromic anemia. Iron is primarily absorbed in the intestine, in particular the duodenum and jejunum. Certain factors increase or decrease absorption of anemia. Vitamin B12 deficiency anemia. Vitamin B12 deficiency can lead to anemia, neurological and digestive disorders. Causes are usually malabsorption of vitamin B12 particularly autoimmune gastritis, surgical removal of stomach, chronic inflammation of pancreas, intestinal parasites, medication, protein pump inhibitor, metformin and some genetic disorders. Pernicious anemia conditions of deficiency of vitamin B12 due to absence or decreased intrinsic factor. Vitamin B12 cannot be produced by the body and must be obtained from the diet. Vitamin B12 in the food is usually bound to protein and is released by proteases from the pancreas into the small bowel. Following release, most B12 is absorbed by the body in the ileum after binding to a protein called intrinsic factor. Intrinsic factor is produced by parietal cells of gastric mucosa and the intrinsic factor B12 complex is absorbed by enterocytes in the ileum. Deficiency of intrinsic factor causes decreased B12 level and causes anemia. Transgobalamin deficiency anemia. Transgobalamin are carrier proteins that binds to vitamin B12 type 1 produced by mouth salivary glands it attaches vitamin B12 in the food and protects from the acid degradation in the stomach and it releases vitamin B12 in the neutral duodenum. From there, vitamin B12 attaches to the intrinsic factor. Type 2 transgobalamin transport the vitamin B12 after degradation of vitamin B12 intrinsic factor complex. Transgobalamin deficiency is a rare autosomal recessive inborn error of cobalamin transport that clinically manifests in early infancy. Folate deficiency anemia. Low level of folate and derivatives in the body result in anemia with macrocytes. The deficiency is more common in pregnant women, infants, children and adolescents. It may also due to poor diet and alcohol intake. Protein deficiency anemia. Decreased diet intake of protein may lead to mild to moderate anemia. This type of anemia is seen in vegans, vegetarians, elderly, endurance athletes, 
anorexia. This condition also called hypoproliferative anemia and may develop in people with chronic liver disease, chronic kidney disease and low function thyroid. Low intake of protein slows down the body metabolism that reduces oxygen demand. Low oxygen demand decreases the production of erythropoietin from the kidneys causes decreased erythropoiesis. Vitamin C deficiency anemia. Low levels of vitamin C may contribute to the iron deficiency anemia by reducing the absorption of iron from the plant based foods and negatively affecting iron metabolism. Vitamin C deficiency also increases the risk of excessive bleeding that can contribute to anemia. If iron deficiency anemia persists for a long time with no obvious causes, it may be wise to check the vitamin C level. Acute post hemorrhagic anemia. Acute post hemorrhagic anemia or acute blood loss anemia is a condition when a person quickly loses large volume of circulating RBCs, usually associated with an accident of trauma or severe injury or after surgical procedures. Anemia of chronic disease or anemia of chronic inflammation. Chronic infections, chronic immune activation and malignancy conditions elevate interleukin-6 that stimulates epsidin production and release from the liver. Epsidin sets down portion that controls the iron storage and release of iron. Reduced iron level causes iron deficiency anemia. Anemia in kidney disease and kidney dialysis. When the kidneys are damaged, they reduce and production of erythropoietin hormone that reduce the production of RBCs in the bone marrow causing anemia. Anemia of prematurity. Preterm infants are often anemic, typically experience heavy blood loss from repeated blood sampling and reduced erythropoiesis with extremely low serum level of erythropoietin hormone that controls the erythropoiesis. Congenital dyserythropoietic anemia is a rare blood disorder similar to the thalassemia. Congenital dyserythropoietic anemia is characterized by ineffective erythropoiesis and resulting from a decrease in the RBCs in the body and less than normal hemoglobin level. Congenital dyserythropoietic anemia has four different subtypes. Diamond black fan anemia. Diamond black fan anemia is characterized by normocytic or macrocytic anemia with low RBC count with decreased progenitor cells in the bone marrow. It is a congenital erythroid aplasia that usually presents in infancy, causes low RBC count and normal platelet and WBC count. Fanconi's anemia. It is a rare genetic disease. About 90% develop aplastic anemia by the age of 40. Fanconi's anemia is the result of a genetic defect in a cluster of protein responsible for DNA repair via homologous recombination. Aplastic anemia. Aplastic anemia is a severe hematological condition. Deficiency of all blood cell types. RBCs, WBCs and platelets. A aplastic anemia is associated with cancer and various cancer syndromes and it can be caused by hereditary immune disease or exposure to chemicals, drugs or radiation. Hemolytic anemia. Hemolytic anemia is a form of anemia. The abnormal breakdown of RBCs either in the blood vessels or elsewhere in the body. The causes may be defect in the RBC membrane production, defect in hemoglobin production or defective RBC metabolism causing hemolysis due to increased copper level. Acquired hemolytic anemia. Hemolytic anemia due to immune mediated or non-immune mediated. Non-immune hemolysis may occur due to drugs, toxins, trauma, infection, liver disease and proximal natural hemoglobinuria. Warm antibody autoimmune hemolytic anemia. 
warm antibody autoimmune hemolytic anemia is the most common form of autoimmune hemolytic anemia causes may be idiopathic half of the cases are idiopathic that is without any known cause second half is secondary to another disease such as systemic lupus erythematosus or malignancy such as chronic lymphatic leukemia some medications can also cause warm antibody autoimmune hemolytic anemia alpha thalassemias normal hemoglobin consists of two alpha chains and two beta chains in alpha thalassemia there is a quantitative decrease in the amount of alpha chains resulting in fewer normal hemoglobin molecules alpha thalassemias are most commonly inherited in a mendelian recessive manner beta thalassemia beta thalassemia are group of inherited blood disorders caused by reduced or absence synthesis of beta chain in hemoglobin that results in severe anemia to clinically asymptomatic individuals three main forms have been described according to the severity of the disorder thalassemia minor thalassemia intermediate and thalassemia major delta beta thalassemia delta beta thalassemia is a autosomal recessive disorder delta beta thalassemia is caused by deletion of the entire delta and beta gene sequences and only gamma globulin or hpf is formed following the detection of hypochromia microcytic rbcs delta beta thalassemia is confirmed by high performance liquid chromatography drug induced autoimmune hemolytic anemia in some cases a drug can cause the immune system to mistakenly think the body's own rbcs are dangerous foreign substances antibodies then develop against the rbcs attached to the rbcs and cause them break down too easily more than 150 drugs can cause this type of hemolytic anemia drug induced non autoimmune hemolytic anemia anti malarial oxidant drugs like primaquine damage rbcs in g6pd glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency some drugs can cause rbcs to lies in normal individuals include dapsone and sulfasalazine anabine in high doses can cause swelling of rbcs and lice autoimmune hemolytic anemia autoimmune hemolytic anemia occurs when antibodies against the person's own rbcs cause them to lice leading to decreased rbc in circulation the lifetime of the rbc reduced to few days primary cause is unknown and the secondary cause includes chronic lymphatic leukemia epstein barr virus cytomegalovirus mycoplasma pneumonia hepatitis and hiv cold agglutinin disease cold agglutinin disease is a rare autosomal disease usually circulating igm cold sensitive antibodies that are active at below 30 degree centigrade that is below 86 degree fahrenheit directed against rbcs causing them to agglutinate and undergo lysis proximal cold hemoglobinuria proximal cold hemoglobinuria is an autoimmune hemolytic anemia featured by complement mediated intravascular hemolysis after cold exposure infectious agents are implicated in the acute form of proximal cold hemoglobinuria viral agents include measles mumps epstein barr virus cytomegalovirus influenza virus and adenoviruses non viral agents are mycoplasma pneumoniae and hemophilus microangiopathic hemolytic anemia micro angiopathic hemolytic anemia in diseases such as hemolytic uremic syndrome disseminated intravascular coagulation thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura and malignant hypertension the endothelial layers of some vessels are damaged with resulting fibrin deposition 
and platelet aggregates. As the blood cells travel through these damaged vessels, they are fragmented resulting the intravascular hemolysis. The resulting cystocytes formation are also increasingly targeted by spleen for the hemolysis. Myeloptysic anemia. Myeloptysic anemia is a severe type of anemia refers to the displacement of hemopoietic bone marrow tissue by fibrosis, tumors or granulomas. The presence of RBCs with nuclei or teardrop shaped dacrocytes or immature granulocytes precursor cells in the peripheral smear indicates leukoerythroblastosis is occurring because the displacement of hemopoietic cells begin to undergo extramedullary hemopoiesis. Proximal nocturinal hemoglobinuria. Proximal nocturinal hemoglobinuria is a rare acquired life threatening disease characterized by destruction of RBCs by complement system, a part of body innate immune system. This destruction occurs due to RBC surface protein complement decay accelerating factor that normally protect the RBCs. Triose phosphate isomerase deficiency. Triose phosphate isomerase deficiency is a rare autosomal recessive metabolic disorder. It is a unique glycolytic enzymopathy that is characterized by chronic hemolytic anemia. Cardiomyopathy, susceptibility to infections, severe neurological dis dysfunction and in most cases death is early childhood. Congenital hemolytic anemia. Congenital hemolytic anemia refers to hemolytic anemia due to congenital disorders. It's an abnormal condition that is present at birth regardless of its cause. Hereditary spherocytosis. Hereditary spherocytosis is a congenital hemolytic disorder, a genetic mutation coding for a structural membrane protein phenotype leading to a spherical shaping of erythrocytic cellular morphology. The difference in shape makes the red blood cells more prone to rupture under osmotic and mechanical stress. Hereditary elliptocytosis. Hereditary elliptocytosis, also known as ovulocytosis, is an inherited blood disorder having RBCs or elliptical rather than typical biconcave disc shape. It is one of the many red cell membrane defects in its severe forms leads to hemolytic anemia. Hereditary pyropyclocytosis. Hereditary pyropyclocytosis is characterized by increased pyclocytosis, RBC fragmentation and elliptocytes in the peripheral smear. Due to defect in the RBC membrane skeletal and weaken its horizontal scaffold, the RBCs hemolysis. The RBCs hemolysis in infants causing neonatal jaundice and frequently a transfusion is required. Hemolytic uremic syndrome. Hemolytic uremic syndrome is a group of blood disorders characterized by a low RBC count, acute kidney failure and thrombocytopenia. Most cases occur after infectious diarrhea due to a specific E. coli, strep pneumonia, shigella, salmonella and certain medication. The underlying mechanism typically involves the production of shiga toxins. Hereditary stomatocytosis. Hereditary stomatocytosis describes a number of inherited mostly autosomal dominant conditions that affect the RBCs and create slit-like area of the center failure among erythrocytes. Stomatocyte in peripheral smear. The erythrocyte cell membranes may abnormally leak sodium and potassium ions causing abnormalities in cell volume. Hereditary stomatocytosis can, can cause extravascular hemolysis or intravascular hemolysis leads to jaundice, splenomegaly and gallstone formation. Acquired stomatocytosis with hemolytic anemia occurs primarily with recent excess alcohol ingestion. Exokinase deficiency anemia Hexokinase deficiency anemia 
this is a genetic disorder it's linked to mutation of exokinase enzyme causes hemolytic anemia exokinase deficiency leads to hemolytic anemia due to decrease atp production g6pd deficiency anemia glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase is an enzyme found in the cytoplasm of all cells that prevent damage of reactive oxygen species inherited deficiencies of g6pd can result in acute hemolytic anemia during times of increased reactive oxygen species this may caused by stress certain food that contain high amounts of oxidant substances and some medications microcytic anemias microcytic anemia is any of the several types of anemia characterized by smaller than normal in size of rbcs in microcytic anemia the rbcs contain less hemoglobin and are usually hypochromic the mcv mch levels are low iron deficiency anemia thalassemia and rare acquired causes include lead poisoning zinc deficiency and copper deficiency macrocytic anemias rbcs are larger than normal with insufficient hemoglobin concentration the rbcs grow larger because they cannot produce dna quickly enough to divide at the right time as they grow and thus grow too large before division deficiency of vitamin b12 folate and some medications can cause macrocytes sickle cell anemia sickle cell disease is a group of blood disorders typically inherited abnormal hemoglobin leads to a rigid sickle shaped in temperature changes stress dehydration and high attitude the rbcs break down at a faster rate that drops hemoglobin level in sickle cell anemia hemoglobin s replaces both beta globulin subunits in the hemoglobin spursal hemolytic anemia spursal hemolytic anemia due to chronic liver disease impairs the liver ability to esterify cholesterol causing free cholesterol to bind to the red cells membrane increasing its surface area without increasing its volume this condition also creates rough and thorny projections on the erythrocyte called acanthocytes pyruvate kinase deficiency pyruvate kinase deficiency is an inherited metabolic disorder of the enzyme pyruvate kinase leads to chronic hemolytic anemia methemoglobinemia is a condition of elevated methemoglobin in the blood some of the iron in hemoglobin being converted from the ferrous to ferric form methemoglobinemia can be due to certain medications chemicals or food it can be inherited also